So welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, we're gonna do my Champions League predictions for the year 2024, 2025. So I'm gonna keep this concise for you guys. I'm not gonna go too much into detail. Why I have this team in this place because I'm gonna keep this video to be a good length, and it's gonna be obviously weird, you know, doing a new format, everything. So basically, I'm gonna have I predicted all the 144 games of the Champions League. And in fact, I actually have the points tally here for all 36 teams. So we're gonna go ahead and do this, guys, and yeah. Like I said, guys, it's gonna be interesting, guys. So before we get onto the 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 um the predictions itself, twenty five to thirty six is gonna be eliminated. Nine to twenty four is knock around playoffs, and the top eight is you know round of sixteen guaranteed. So coming in and thirty sixth place, guys, I have it is Slovenia Bratislava. They're the worst team here in the Champions League. Now it's not to disrespect them or anything. Obviously, they are a good team. You know they have been great in the Conference League editions. You have, they have been, I believe, they've been there in the last three editions. And I just think for me, this is a bridge too far from the Conference League, the Champions League. And even though I have them against zero points, I do think they'll put up commendable fights. I just don't think they have enough quality to get any points in their games. And thing for me, the thing for me is that I think the jump from the Conference League to the Champions League is a big jump. Maybe if they were in the Europa League, I could see them get some points, but. I think here in the Champions League is going to be too difficult. And this is their debut, by the way. First time ever in this competition, which is an incredible achievement. So shout out to Slovenia and Bacchus to play. I hope they massively prove me wrong, but it's very unlikely they'll do it. Coming in 35th place, I have it is Strom Gaz, the Austrian champs. They finally won the Austrian Bundesliga after, I believe, 11 years dominated by RB Salzburg. Fantastic achievement. I just don't think it's going to be enough here in the Champions League, unfortunately. 34th place, I have it is Shakhtar Donetsk. I don't really think they'll do well here um, as Ukraine champs. And everything, so yeah, I, I have them to struggle. Thirty third, I have his young boys. Let's look at four points, but not really much better. And then Lille, unfortunately, I have them to get uh, four points. Um, even though they are the first French team to advance to the Champions League playoffs since I believe 2017, 2016, 2017, which was done by Monaco. So incredible achievement for France to have four teams, but I I think Lille fixtures are too hard. Thirty uh, first, I have Sparta five points once again. Uh, another team has been the, that's been out of the Champions League for so long. I just don't think they'll, they'll do well. I hope Sparta can do it because they're a good team, guys. I saw them in the Europa League last season. They're a good, decent team. You know, they defeated Galatasaray, but I just don't think they'll have enough to advance to the top 24. I think it's a bridge too far for them. 30th, I have is Club Rouge. Once again, another brutal fixture schedule. I don't think Club Rouge will do well, unfortunately. 29th, I have Stad Brest making their debuts in the Champions League. I just think this will be a bridge too far. I don't think they'll have what it takes to get points and enough points to advance. Um, but yeah, uh, the 28th, I have Monaco. I think Monaco will not do well. I don't see the French teams having doing great in the Champions League, honestly. I just don't. Um, and the 27th, I have is RB Salzburg. I think they'll struggle. They'll get two wins, uh, but I just don't see much more. Uh, the 26th, I have is Benfica, six points. They're going to be close, but not quite enough. And the 24th, I have uh, 25th, I have Stuttgart, just narrowly missing out on. The top 24. So, a top 24, guys. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, 24th, I have a Celtic. I think Celtic will just about scrape through and get to, uh, seven points. Just about. Um, then I got Sporting to get eight points. I think they'll do it. I, I like their fixture schedule. Uh, 22nd, Girona. I think Girona actually have a decent draw for the level. I think they got some decent opponents um, for, their, uh, for their team, which is great. Uh, 21st, we've got Feyenoord. I think Feyenoord will do great. It's going to be interesting to see how Feyenoord does with that Arna slot this season. You know, first season with that Arna slot is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. 28th is PSV. I like PSV schedule. I think PSV have a great favorable fixtures. I think they'll do it. I think they'll get 20th. 19th, that was Bologna. Bologna making their Champions League debuts. Um, I think they're going to do well in their first edition, which would be great for them. Uh, then I have Dinamo Zagreb to get nine points. I think they'll do it. Um, you know, Croatian champs, they did have a struggle early in the season, but, you know, they managed to pick things up and managed to win the league. So I think they'll get nine points. Which you know, Sylvain is best though. I think Red Star Belgrade can do it, guys. I think their home games will be critical for Red Star Belgrade. I think they're going to pick up their points in the home games, and I think that's going to what to see them through. And I think home form is going to be key for a lot of these teams here that I have in the top 24. So 16 to 24. Um, the 6th game is Atalanta, 13 points. That's going to be good. I think they'll have a good season. Europa League champions, of course. Uh, 15th place I have is Aston Villa, 13 points. I like Aston Villa's little fixture schedule. I think they have a great fixture schedule for them. You know, making the champ being back in the Champions League for so long. Great achievement. 14th place I have is RB Leipzig. Now, this might come as a surprise because RB Leipzig's fixtures are pretty tough, but I, I, do, I think they'll do well. And I think people are kind of disrespectful of RB Leipzig and their 
uh, predictions. I've seen. Um, I feel like people are over. Um, people are being too negative on RB Leipzig. So yeah, I think they'll do well. Thirteenth, I have is Milan. Milan, I think will get fifteen points, which will be enough for them to qualify to the top twenty-four. Whether they'll be enough for a top eight, probably unlikely. But yeah, twelfth PSG. I think PSG will just about be in the miss out on the knock around uh, knock around sixteen, but they will be seeded. And by the way, guys, this nine to sixteen that's going to be seeded. And I believe 70 to 24 is going to be unseated. So that's going to be interesting. So PSG should have enough to advance around the 16. 11th Juventus, I think they'll miss out on the round of 16 directly. But they should have enough through the playoffs. Uh, then it's going to be interesting to see what um, uh, Tiago Matza does in his uh, first season with Juve. Juve look rejuvenated now. They look a lot better than we have seen. This might be the best Juventus team we've seen in a while since maybe CR7, which is crazy. Um, and the Bayer Leverkusen, you know, Javier Alonso, how will he do in the Champions League? How will Bayer Leverkusen do? I think they'll do well. At the ninth place I have it is Atletico Madrid. I think Atletico Madrid will just about miss out on a top eight finish. So moving to the next one, guys. So next one we got is Inter. I think Inter will just do enough by goal difference. I think they'll do it. Seventh I have is Dortmund. UCL finals. I think Dortmund will have a good set of fixtures for them. I think their home form is going to be key for Dortmund. Sixth, I have is Bayern Munich under um, their new coach, Vincent Company. I think Bayern will have a Bayern will do well in the Champions League. Fifth, I have is Arsenal to get 21 points. I think Arsenal will do well, um, despite the fact they got some tough fixtures. Like I think they got to play PSG and Atalanta, and I believe um, Atletico Madrid as well. I believe so. That's going to be interesting. And they also got Sporting as well. Europa, the team that knocked them out of the Europa League a few seasons ago. And then Liverpool. I think Liverpool will do well. 22 points. And the third, I have Real Madrid. Now, even though I have Real Madrid in third place, guys, I do think Real Madrid will struggle. I do think Real Madrid will have some games where they're not going to be at their best. And remember, Real Madrid isn't a great league team, guys. So don't be surprised to see Real Madrid just about scrape through top eight. Even though I don't have them in scraping through, I think they'll do well. But it wouldn't surprise me if they lose some games. Because the thing with Real Madrid is that they're not a really a good group stage or team in general in the past. Because they usually have one or two games where they don't draw points. So. Don't be surprised if Real Madrid draw points here in the Champions League new format. And I could see a scenario like that. But obviously, Real Madrid should get top eight. Not to mention that. And then Barcelona, man. I, I, I think Barcelona's got a great fixture list. I think the only game I could see is maybe dropping points is maybe Dortmund away and maybe Bayern at home. But other than that, the, us, the rest of other games should be winnable. And then, and then I have Man City first. Man City, 24 points. I think they're going to win all their games. Even the Juventus game on the road, which may be tough for them. I think Juventus still, I don't think Juventus have reached a level to play Man City yet in the Champions League. So there you guys go, man. Those are my Champions League predictions. I tried to do it in a quick, concise manner. I didn't want to go bog you guys down with the details. So if you guys did enjoy it, let me know. And also, let me know the guys in the comments below, guys. If you guys want to hear my further explanation uh, where I, I, you guys are going to get your points from, I'll let you guys know in the ch comments. I just didn't want to tell you guys here in the video because it would make the video too long. So that's way you guys can interact and I can still interact with you guys. So hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.